not the brightest person on the planet. And see, it seems that a lot of my friends are not so bright either. Um, you know what a coin battery is? Those little things that fits in laptops and desktops. A friend of mine said he is he lost his timing on his computer every time he shuts it off and turns it back on. The, the timing is off. And uh, so I said, well, change the coin battery inside. It's your coin battery is done. So, you know, you just open it up. You're, if you're, you got a laptop, yes, okay, well, open, open it up. You go through the things and back. You, you open it up. You see that little coin inside, and you pop it out, put the new one in. Okay. So, a week the next week, he comes to me and says, I tried to, I didn't see a coin battery inside there. There's always a coin battery. It controls the, the time. Well, I didn't see one inside. Can you find it and replace it? Okay. So, he gave me his laptop. It's called Microsoft Surface. You see this? Yeah. You see, you see the two big batteries? Yeah. yeah. Um, there are no coin batteries in this Microsoft unit. He, he gave it to me and the screen's all cracked and that thing. He started prying around inside looking for a, a coin battery. I said, you know, there's there's no coin battery in these things. The battery itself is the one that controls the time. So you keep that thing fully charged, you get, you control the motherboard. You know, the thing is, to keep it charged. You, you know, plug it in every, every, every week. So, well, can you fix it? I says, you can't fix that. I don't know what damage you did prying all the little covers off, but very likely you basically have a thousand dollar doorstop a coaster yeah uh, stuff is there you gave me something with a lot of sh glass shards in it and it's it's worthless I mean it's 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 gone I am you know these used to have when they used to have um, Flash drives inside that that you plugged in, you pulled out, you plug, you could plug it in if you want to stupid enough to open it up. Because they start off with 128 gigabytes and with the 256, 512, uh, that thing. But as you went up the ladder on these, there were newer models. And then, da 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 da, they went into. things like this okay now a lot of computers I hear these days have instead of having hard drives mechanical or SSD they have these things this is 128 um, it doesn't work it's, it's a it doesn't work but uh, that has 128 it goes up to well, 128, 256, 512, or 1 terabytes. Now you can get the more, as I said, for the Microsoft surfaces. Who, uh, like this one, everything's on the motherboard, so somewhere inside of this, this, some sort of, so under one of these things uh, that's covered is a RAM and a solid state um, storage, you know, I, I don't know what this thing, I think this may be a 128, 256, 512, uh, doesn't look like, could be the newest one, so, but I don't think it is, because otherwise I think he would have had a heart attack saying, yeah, you bought it for $2,000 and you destroyed it. Could I replace it? I presume he's destroyed more of the motherboard. I mean, these things are delicate. And it's awful hard. But again, um, 
I told him is you very likely need a tablet, you know, the tablets, uh, like your cell phone that you've got, your smartphone. Go get yourself a little tablet. Um, the keyboard's built in. You know, your phone has a keyboard on it. Um, not like <clears throat> this. This is my consumer seller phone. Yeah, that's that's where the keyboard. The newer ones are built. Everything's built in. I heard heard that the for charging for the newer ones, you don't plug anything into it, and you lay it on something like a, another device. And it's through the magnetic field, it charges itself up. <laughs> there get my heart there. Heart pacer. Yeah, I can put to leave it over my shirt pocket for my pacer. Okay. Or that would be the pacer to keep my heart going, either way. But yeah, um, the technology is it's way beyond that thing. I, I feel sorry for losing a thousand dollars, but you could. You, he still has Pentium Two. You know Pentium Two. The the. I would say you know something like this for Pentium Two, the big ones, the dual slots in there. That thing. And say, I still have programs on there. Well, when did you turn it on last? Very likely, your battery on that thing is coin battery is dead. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, he has a lot of this old stuff. He had old apples. I told him, you, ca you can't you can't put the newest program on the old apple. It won't see it. Why not? Because that's the way they make it. I tell him that thing. I had an Apple II Plus. You know what happened? When Apple III ca came out. Yeah, everything with the Apple II Plus couldn't be done on the Apple III. I know a guy who had piles of games and. You know, hundreds of games and everything else, and oh, I'm going to go out and buy an Apple III. And he couldn't do it. It's, um, Apple does the new version of Apple doesn't accept the old version of Apple programs. Oh, maybe two, maybe a lap, one before, but not the before that. That's Apple. It's something like um, all the computers I have, the old ones, Windows 11 will not see it. Um, something like when Windows 95 came out, 98 was looking for something that 95 didn't contain. Um, CD-ROMs? Maybe it was a CD-ROM it was looking for. Well, Windows uh, XP was looking for CD-ROMs. There's two versions of that, if I remember. Uh, one, The first version, it was the second update version that was looking for uh, CD-ROMs. And uh, cameras or what have you. I uh, like Microsoft this. The, all, all these services have cameras to them. I shouldn't say that. I don't know what the latest one is. But I presume they have cameras to them. So you can meet somebody. Hi! Um, what can I do? Well, as I said, there that thing. Um, I now happen to have a a Microsoft Surface with two exposed. I hope he didn't damage him. Look like looks like pencil marks. Oh no, I have to dispose of something. <coughs> No, I'm not going to give it with him because very likely he's going to tinker with it and he's going to break into the lith lithium batteries and expose the air. They're going to burn and uh, there goes his house or whatever it has it. Or he's going to dump it in the garbage. Maybe I should tell him to go find a deep lake or throw it into the lake. This stuff is dangerous. Hey, lithium batteries are dangerous. Yeah, but again, again, as as they said, um, these things are not to be opened. They're not to be dropped. I don't know how 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 
what, what can I say? I've heard these things dropping. Just lost a thousand dollars. They bring them back to Microsoft, and sorry, we can't repair it. You go online, you look at these people repair it. They put a little hot plate and they get around, they put the new screen in and they put it back again. And oh, by the way, that's $750 for one of these guys. Buy, buy the newest model. It's a lot cheaper. Do I own one? No, I don't own one. Do I own a Dell? Yes, I own a Dell. Older model with, with the hard drives in it, the old fashioned spinning hard drive. Will I go out and buy a SSD? I thought about that. I, I thought about that, but I'm cheap. Yeah, I'm afraid so. But anyway, um, and I'm running updated from XP to Windows 10. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But everything I have will not, never see Windows 11. Um, go out to get the latest one. Well, the latest stuff that it basically looks, I would say, you know, the thickness of these things and everything which should be on, on the motherboard. And it is very likely the same thing with this stuff. The older ones happen to have fans inside. The newer ones don't have fans. They don't have anything you can ac access to. So the, old, the, the first ones that came out, there was this thing online where you could take out the old 128 gigabyte SSD out of it and stamp in a new one if you didn't break the screen. So why why did you buy 128 when you could have bought a 256? And I don't think I think the everything beyond 256, uh, maybe some 512s, but are these newer ones because they're basically stamped out. You don't put anything on there, which is a lot cheaper. It's just like your cell phones my cell phone here but they those smartphones are nothing but stamped out it's it's they're cheaper to do that way and if you're stupid enough to drop them and break them it's going to cost you a, a fortune to open them up there and some people break damage these to the point they drop them on the corners and just has a shock wave through the the phone and it's really dead and they give it to somebody to open it up because as soon as he opens it up, he charges you $500. Why not? Oh, I have information on it. Oh, can you pull something out of it? No. These, got, these things have cards, as far as I know, those don't. They're all welded on, onto the, the motherboard. It's all there. And uh, as I said, the newer ones, that thing, the newer ones has it where you basically take your phone and put it next to your computer, something like, not like this, or this is too old, uh, maybe like a Surface here, and transmit the whatever is recorded in the, on the phone to your Surface. And that's how you transfer, that's you transfer your files, which is... I guess logical uh, beyond my little mind to understand how they work but it's logical um, well, what can I say well, I t told him TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> I had to tell him that there's a coin battery inside that I don't think he's going to foam there's no coin battery in there no there's not you didn't tell me he had a Microsoft I mean, if the guy said that, I've told him there's, there's no battery in it. You know, to keep everything up to par, right, you keep charging it. You know, things need charge. And, and I hate to tell them, too, about the batteries on, on the surfaces. The battery b 
basically are, even in your newer computers, the batteries are l listed for the last thing three years. I don't know if it means constant, but well, when they go, they, they expand or they burn up. That's the other, other problem. So don't open it up. Don't follow my <laughs> instructions. <laughs> don't open it up. Please don't open it up. You don't know what you're doing. They're not like the old days. It's like my car. Um, once I could change the oil. <laughs> once I could change the spark plugs. Once I could actually work on the car. Now you do, you bring it to the mechanic. He takes the device, sticks it up into the underneath the steering wheel and accesses the computer and says, Boy, have you got but Boy, have you got, oh boy, have you got. And as the guy who says, as my, com my mechanic says, oh, wow. But you have 200,000 miles on the engines. Yeah, well, your engine should last. You, your car's going to last another 10 years. Or your car's, I drive a Chevy, so he he's basically looks at it and says, yeah, it's going to last a to 300,000 miles, 350,000 miles. Yeah, it's not like the old days where if I got 100,000 miles on it, it's that thing. And, and unfortunately, the, uh, I can't really say because I needed a car, but the guy said, yeah, um, f three years ago, it, this thing would go half the price that I got it. Oh, oh, oh. but why why is it like that he said it very interesting tesla all those people 300,000 cars that tesla has whatever you have sitting on those lots they need chips in them and tesla the guy who was in musk he should have built a chip factory instead of doing his eagle thing right he should have built a chip factory for, he spent forty billion dollars for a medium site when he could have for ten billion dollars put in a chip factory. People with their toys. Oh well that's enough people. I think I've criticized enough. <laughs>